What is up, Pepe Army? Welcome back to my crypto journey. Of course, my name is Rodney. Do me a favor, smash that like button if you are bullish on Pepe heading into next week. And you should be because we saw a nice little rally today and it looks like we might absolutely send starting tomorrow. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think we're gonna have some sort of rally heading into this week? Because I believe that we are. So make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff so you stay up to date on all the latest Pepe news. We also have some drama to talk about. We're gonna get to that drama here in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and check out this newest meme from Pepe talking about one love. And I like to see this, right? Of course, it's a bunch of red and uh, green frogs uh, holding on to each other, flying in the sky, little angel frogs. Uh, but what I like about Pepe is that it's supposed to be bringing the community, uh, excuse me, the community of meme coins together. I said immunity. I guess that kind of works, right? But bringing the community of meme coins together. And I like that because, like I said before, Cryptocurrency is weird, right? It's strange, it's obscure, we're going through a lot of growing pains with our government, but even weirder are meme coins. So we gotta stick together, whether you're from the SHIB community, the Volt community, whatever community, let's come together and be stronger, you know, and move together and make people some damn money because that's what this is about, right? Now smash like if you feel me, right? Now let's talk about some of the positive price action and then we'll get into the drama because this is very, very interesting, right? So make sure you watch till the end. All right, so if we look at coin market Cap, we can see that Pepe actually had a nice little rally today, right? So we had a nice little pump earlier and then we pulled back slightly. Went over the, about the uh, $1.2 billion market cap range. Volume's down quite a bit. Of course, we want more volume, but again, it's the weekend, so pretty much the weekend crypto really doesn't do anything. Um, so that's nice to see, right? Nice little pump. Then we had uh, an, a little, a slight increase in holders, right? 106 Ether scan wallets, and of course, if you guys didn't know, it looks like Binance has more liquidity added to their wallet. So I'm sure a lot of people on Binance are buying Pepe. So this is kind of adding to our holders, which I like to see because I think it'll pretty much grow all at once uh, or become a stronger base, what I mean. So the, the, pretty much the bigger community like a cryptocurrency has, the more money in a cryptocurrency there is, even though it's still going to be volatile, it's not going to be as volatile where one buy or one major sale is going to completely destroy the chart, right? The more liquidity, uh, the more users and stuff like that a cryptocurrency project has, usually the better it is against huge buys and huge sales. As good as it could be for crypto because crypto is just volatile altogether. Now, something to look out for before I get into the drama, right? Something to look out for is the fact that the more established Pepe gets, the more it's probably going to move with the market, right? So we're up 1% today. I know Pepe's down a little bit, but it was up like maybe 5% earlier today. We might see it move with Bitcoin and Ethereum, which is good because it gives a little predictability, right? Now, obviously, when Ethereum pumps, uh, we can expect Pepe to pump, but probably pump at a faster rate. Okay, let's get into the drama and uh, let me know in the comments down below. If I get enough likes, comments, uh, and you guys subscribe, I will definitely make a reaction video because we have one of my favorite YouTubers and one of the biggest YouTubers, crypto YouTubers on the platform, Altcoin Daily, published a video yesterday saying they are lying to you, the scary truth about Pepe coin. Now, like I said, this is one of my favorite YouTubers, and it's really A1 when it comes to cryptocurrency news. Now, from what I can, I haven't watched the video. I want to react for it uh, with you guys, uh, react to it with you guys uh, on a video, but I haven't uh, watched it yet. But from what I'm hearing and all the kind of uh, hate he's getting thrown at him is that he's looking at the top 10 holders. So this person named Brovic ETH, who uh, has been really great um, for following Pepe content. I'll put his, uh, I don't know why I'm not following him, but um, he's been showing up on my feed. I just gave him a follow. I'll put a link to his uh, Twitter down below because he has some pretty good Pepe news, right? He says this, this account, and he's talking about Allcoin Daily. This account has 1.3 million followers. Who wants to tell him that the top 10 holders are literally exchange wallets? Imagine having the name Altcoin Daily and having zero idea how altcoins work. So, I already have an opinion on what's going on. I don't want to share it with you guys just yet. I'm going to make a video if this gets a lot of likes and stuff like that. Um, and I'll react to it and break it down for you guys so we can really see what the hell is going on. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. How are you feeling this week and how are you feeling about Pepe going to next week? I am extremely bullish. So make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff to stay up to date on all the Pepe news. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Peace.